They predicted it, they insisted on it, and now they have triggered it. Surgery Union's joyride with Manchester United has come to a premature end. Meanwhile, there has been a major boost in our quest to sign Jean-Claire Todibo, as Spurs have been told to back off. Meanwhile, two 34-year-olds are being linked to Manchester United. Is this a case of desperate moments calling for desperate measures? Welcome to the United Hotspot. My name is Webb and glad to be here to bring to you all Manchester United transfer news today. And I'll start it off with this man because this is one we've wanted even before we heard about this whole Sir Jim Ratcliffe situation. Jean-Claire Todibo has been a top target for Manchester United from the last summer, he is a player that Eric Ten Hag and Co. have always wanted to sign. Now, the interest is still there, even with Sir Jim Ratcliffe coming in. But just recently, it had emerged that Tottenham Mospas had taken a step ahead in trying to negotiate with Mish for the signature of the 24-year-old defender. Now, according to what we are getting, confirmed by Fabrizio Romano as well, it has been clear now. Nish has told Tottenham Hotspurs to clearly back off. They don't want to sell, at least not in January. They can either wait until the end of the summer. But also, the reality is maybe Sir Jim Ratcliffe has got an influence in this, trying to give Manchester United the chance, the benefit of time for them to be able to sign this player. Because he knows how many United supporters have wanted this player for the longest time. Chelsea too were linked with him, but according to Fabricio, Chelsea ha uh, in conversations in their boardrooms about players they want to sign, they are yet to point to a name. So to Debo to Chelsea is also not happening. Big boost for Manchester United, isn't it? Now, speaking of uh, that, uh, a, a defender, Manchester United has got a new defender we've been linked with, a young 20-year-old Italian. His name is uh, uh, Giorgio Scalvini. He's a 20-year-old centre-back currently playing for Atalanta. That's the young player there who has got a buyout clause of about £40 million. Pounds. United are saying this is a player we could want as a, uh, an option for a centre-back. Remember, United are currently in a situation where we've got to sell to buy. Rafael Varen is one of those we are looking at selling. So is Harry Maguire. We are selling him in the summer. It's not completely done. And I'm talking about Scalvini. Not exactly for January. It could be in the summer. But he's another player emerging in talks. He's a ball-carrying centre-back. I think he's one of the kind of centre-back who relate with uh, what we know Eric Ten Hag loves to play. He's not just a uh, defend, kick, uh, kick it back and attack and tackle. He's a ball player. The way he knows how to carry the ball from behind, the way Varen can do it, the way Harry Maguire can do it. So it does make sense. But for now, in January, not perhaps the player we are going to go for because we don't even have 40 million pounds to spend, do we? Now, speaking of uh, players we are going for in January, United has been linked with three 34-year-old players, or, or rather two of them. And I'll start it off with the most senior of them. That is uh, Thomas Muller. Now, there were reports suggesting that Manchester United had inquired about Thomas Muller and the possibility of signing him for six months until the end of the season. Muller has just extended his contract with Bayern. So, obviously, uh, he's in the big terms of Thomas Tuchel and Bayern. Uh, but uh, for United to come out and show interest in him, I'm thinking, is this how low we have stopped? Is this how desperate we are? I honestly don't think Thomas Muller is a player we need. I think it's a laughable one, and I'll just leave it at that. For me, yes, the report has been there, but there's nothing concrete. According to Fabrizio as well, nothing concrete. But with this Manchester United, on this transfer corner, we've been here long enough to know even a rumor can turn out true. You might want to discuss them. You remember? Analtovic, it was true. We wanted Analtovic. But for Muller, I don't see that happening. He's earning crazy wages. He's 34. Are we building by bringing 34-year-olds? I don't think so. We'd rather stick with the boys we have. Now, uh, speaking again of 34-year-old Chupo Moting, uh, Eric Maxim Chupo Moting, the other Bayern player who has uh, really struggled to establish himself, especially this season. Chupo Moting has only scored two goals in 14 games for Bayern. He's 34. He's the other player Manchester United has been linked with to come in on loan. Now, remember, United now are in boardroom conversations trying to discuss what options they have, especially when they do or if they do let go of Anthony Martial. We definitely need a striker to back up Rasmus Hoyland, at least to the end of the season. So the plan is, because we don't have so much money, Manchester United are contemplating going for players on loan. And Shupo Moting is one of those who is emerging as one of the players United would want. Now, 
Moting, uh, for me, uh, whereas he's experienced, even at Bayern, he has not been the hottest striker there, even at his prime. He's with Cameroon, of course, now going for the AFCON. I don't think for me, even if it would be a cheap option with experience, even for six months, for me, I don't think that's the one we do want to go for. If anything, this for me is the player Manchester United should be going for if we are looking at a quick fix in Jan. Sahu Girase. Now, Sahu Girase, just like Donny Malek, are the two other players that United has been linked with for, in terms of strikers to come in and back up Rasmus Hoyland. Now, the thing with Sahu Girase is, uh, first of all, he's on form. Last season, he scored 11 goals in 22. This season already has scored 17 in 14. Already, that's impeccable. Compare him to Chupo Moting and he's far better. Chupo Moting, has, I've told you, has only scored two goals for Bayern in 14 games. Now, that's terrible. But the thing, though, the trick with Sahu Girase is Manchester United, whereas we've inquired about him, Manchester United has got to buy him. We can't get him on loan. Now, we need to spend £15 million on him in January if you are going to get him on a permanent. Now, uh, we have this that guy would not want to listen to, to uh, options of loans because he's wanted by Newcastle, Tottenham, I'm told, AC Milan. Several teams are interested in Sahu Girasi because this is a proven striker in Germany and he's only... His buyout clause is only 15 million pounds. He does want to leave Stuttgart as well. So Manchester United can go for him. But of course, there are people who feel they are disquiet about him and we don't want to spend money, even a penny, because we don't have so much money. If you recall in the summer, we struggled to raise the 10 million pounds to pay uh, for, for Sofia Namrabat on loan. Uh, so we probably have less than, less than 15 million pounds to spend uh, with what we have. That's why we are still in a sell to buy situation. That's why I told you, forget about Sajim and his money. There is no money to, for us to spend unless we sell. So this guy could come in, but people have got doubts about us making that big investment. But for me, I think 15 million pounds, even in our list, our situation, in our broker situation, it is money we can gamble on someone 27 years of age who is coming as a backup, not a marquee striker, who has been proven scoring. 17 goals in 14 games in the Bundesliga. So for me, Sahu Girasi does make sense. But of course, we've got to wait a little bit longer to see what exactly goes on with Girasi. Now, another striker Manchester United has been linked with, and this one, according to Fabrizio, United has proceeded to speak to the players' side about the possibility of getting Timo Valna out of his misery at RB Leipzig this January. And he wants to leave. I've been telling you this. Timo Valna wants to leave RB Leipzig United might want to look at him as an option to come in as a stopgap measure on uh, a short loan spell uh, if uh, United do sit in the boardroom and cost a discount. But he's one of those we are seriously interested in as a striker. To be honest, between uh, among the strikers we are linked with, for me, first priority is Sahu Girase. Second, I could really settle for Timo Valder because of his bit of experience. More so knowing that whichever striker we bring in now is coming as a backup coming as a backup striker for Rasmus Hoyland. So I wouldn't care for us to get him on loan. To be honest, I'm not for us spending much money in January. But 15 million on Girasi, I would go for that. Now, finally, finally, the latest one that has come through is uh, about our man who excited us uh, for the few games he played at the start when he joined from Spurs. That is uh, Sergio Reguilio. Now, it has been confirmed that Manchester United have opted to trigger the option not to extend or to see through his loan spell from Russian Amosphere. So what that means is that this January, Sergio Reguilion is going to be heading back to Spurs. From Manchester, he will be back in London, in the capital of the UK, because he has not been good enough. Even when Tyrell Malaysia and Luke Shaw are not there, we still had to have played Diogo Dalot as an inverted left back. Shows you just how much money we wasted on this man, when it came to January, did he come with an injury? You can't tell. He had a few moments where he excited us, but obviously, for the most part of it, at least according to the manager and the technical team, Sergio Reguilion has not been good enough. So, for me, uh, no, uh, there will be no love lost, really. We wish him well going back. And finally, finally, the last one. Yes, I had to save the best for last. Mason Greenwood, Fabrizio Romano has dropped an update on Mason Greenwood and it is clear that Manchester United have not received any official offers for Greenwood. It is not true that Barcelona, Madrid and all these clubs have already tabled money at Tico, but they are interested obviously because they are watching him and they are monitoring his situation with United. But according to what we know now is that Sajim and Co 
will have to first sit and settle in and assess and make a proper decision on whether to bring back renewed or to move him on and on what terms will they sell him or keep him on loan until his contract ends and they don't extend it his contract currently runs out in 2025 something will be done but it could not be in this january this is the united hotspot my name is webb that is all the wrap up of all our transfer news and players we've been linked with including rafael varen whose situation is still unclear united have made it clear to him we want you but on reduced terms he's yet to make a final decision on what he wants for himself the united hotspot let me know who of your of the players we've spoken about would be top on your wish list this january subscribe for me you know my number one greenwood back greenwood back it's the transfer corner here on the united hotspot i'll catch you later